March 11th, 2020. What happened that day changed the world forever. It, it was my mom's birthday. And also, there was kind of this whole disease that shut down the world. I kind of miss it. One thing that I've noticed is that when a lot of people talk about 2020, they try to make it seem like it was a bad year. When in reality, yeah, it fucking sucked. Let's be real, okay? But I'm willing to bet that there's one thing you miss about quarantine. Whether it be not going to school, staying inside all day, or getting that stimulus check and then blowing that stimulus check on something extremely useless. 2020 had a lot to offer, so just in case you forgot what happened, or someone wants to watch this video in 20 years, let's go through the timeline of quarantine. At the start of 2020, everything seemed great. It was the beginning of a new decade, and although there was some talks about a new virus coming in from China, we weren't worried. After all, it was my senior year of high school, and 2020 was my graduation year. Ever since I was a kid, our class had a special slogan, that we had 2020 vision and we were gonna graduate on time together. Editor, insert the Vine Boom sound effect, please. As the coronavirus continued to spread, we were required to wear face masks inside until spring break happened, which is when the country fucking shut down. The class of 2020 has a running joke that we're still on spring break. And I think it's pretty funny, but also kind of sad that I never returned to my high school after that. In fact, I couldn't even graduate there. We had to graduate on a football field. The world is in complete chaos. All of the sports leagues have just announced that they're suspending their seasons. The stock market had its biggest drop in history, and the virus is spreading fast. By this point, over 10,000 people have already died from COVID, and over 500,000 people have it. The country with the most infected people is, of course, the United States. Towards the end of March, the US government will pass a bill that will allow people to get a stimulus check. This is when people start to go a little insane. People aren't able to go outside and do what they want, and, um, murder hornets are about to invade the US. Now, during this phase, people still can't go outside. They're spending most of their time on social media or watching the TV or something. Around this time is when I, as well as a lot of people, discovered streaming. It was a fun hobby. You got to play video games live in front of people, and if you were lucky, maybe you could earn a little money. COVID cases were starting to slow down, the NBA resumed its season in what they called the bubble, and things were kinda looking up until the largest fire in California history started. And guess what? School's about to start. Yeah, this year fucking sucked. Now at this point, COVID has not slowed down. More people are getting infected and more people are dying. So school ends up being fully online. Instead of going in a classroom and learning in front of a teacher, students were required to meet in Zoom meetings. Basically just an online classroom. This is when people realize that Zoom has loopholes. In the real life classroom, you're expected to be on your best behavior and always pay attention. But in Zoom, you don't even have to have your mic or camera on. Now some teachers would require that these were turned on, but even then some people just resort to saying they don't own one or that their internet was too bad. This partnered with the rise of the video game Fall Guys led to what many believe is the golden era of quarantine. It's about a time where many of us were finding positivity and fun in a world that we've never seen before. It was scary for everyone. The virus was growing like crazy and it was deadly. But not just that, jobs were also very unstable. To include my 35 year old demographic, most of their jobs probably went online as well. And if you are seeing this in 20 years, you might be thinking, wow, that sounds awesome. But the lack of human interaction did get to you. But I want to get back to the golden era because, like I said, there was some fun in this. I did mention Fall Guys, and it probably was one of the three games that saved quarantine, at least for me. But honestly, as soon as it blew up, it died because another game took over, and that is Among Us. See, while Fall Guys consisted of a bunch of mini games that you could play online with your friends, Among Us was much more engaging. It was almost like a murder mystery where you have imposters and crewmates on a spaceship, and everyone tries to guess who the imposters are. And yeah, it was really fun, but what this game really did was help blow up streaming even more. 2020 was Twitch's biggest year by far. Millions of people were watching streams every day. This wasn't like when Ninja streamed Fortnite with Drake and broke the internet one time. Twitch was setting record after record, and it's really because no one had anything to do. We couldn't really interact with our friends in real life, so why not play games with them? Why not watch someone else play games? Better yet, why not finish that backlog of TV shows or movies you wanted to watch? Do you see the problem here? People are staying indoors, watching TV, and playing games. They're not exercising, they're not getting sun, and they're not even eating healthy food. This led to what a lot of people call the COVID-15, meaning the 15, or sometimes more, pounds you would gain from quarantine. During this time, I was attending college online, and it was pretty depressing. All those movies about college, all this hype built around it, only for me to stream to three people on Twitch and be bored out of my mind. Things got a little more exciting for me after the holidays when 2021 came. Even though the lockdown was happening, I decided, fuck this, I'm moving into college. Now, because this whole situation was kind of screwed up, 
I did get paired with my roommate the semester before, when we were supposed to move in, but everyone went online. So it kind of gave me and my roommate a chance to bond before we even met in person. So yeah, while moving into college, I did have a friend. Things were still bad on the outside. Walking on a college campus in the middle of lockdown is creepy as hell. Other than my roommate, there were some days where I literally saw no one. Even the Chick-fil-A in the library was closed. There were times I thought to myself, wow, I'm really paying 10 grand to be here. But I don't regret it. I got to live alone. I met a lot of cool people. It would also be the last time classes would be online for me, which means the last time I would get straight A's. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm not really a school person, which is why during this period, I was grinding. Not my degree, but learning the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, maybe not the brightest idea, but hey, it worked out, right? When the semester ended, me and my roommate left unsatisfied. I can't speak for him, but personally, I was thinking, wow, this was the college experience I was hyped up about. What the fuck? You were expecting 21 Jump Street? No, I got fucking Harry Potter without the magic and without the people. There's no Quidditch either. This shit sucks. There is some good news in this though. I still haven't gotten COVID and the COVID cases are going down. To the viewers watching in the distant future, this is what the people in the summer of 2021 were thinking. I mean, cases are going down really fast. It's the summer. What's really the worst one trip to the beach can do? After all, everyone's outside. There's no way I get co Oh God, that that's a spike. Seemingly overnight, the cases jump back up. How did this happen? The vaccine's out. Yeah, bro, the virus mutated. Someone is literally playing Plague Inc. against us. And now I think it's a good time to say, where are the movies? Where are the video games? 2021 might actually be the worst year ever for media. The top two best-selling video games were two Call of Duty games. The top grossing movie of 2021 was Spider-Man No Way Home, which was a great movie, but that's not the problem. The problem is that it came out December 17th and still won. In defense of this, people can't go to the theaters, so why make a great movie? People can't even get their hands on a PS5, or graphics cards in general, so why even make a great game? Among Us and Fall Guys are dead, the Animal Crossing craze is dying out, and people are contemplating why they spent 300 bucks on a Nintendo Switch to play a single game. After some time, we finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's over. After everything that happened, after all the wild events that occurred, after the lifestyle changes, the stimulus checks, and those annoying fucking masks, it was finally over. Thank God right? I mean, this was objectively one of the worst years humanity will ever see. So why? Why do we miss it? There actually is an answer, so see if you can figure it out. Hint number one, it does have to do with staying indoors all day and being shelled up in your room. Hint number two, it does involve wearing your mask everywhere you go. And hint number three, yes, it does involve Among Us. Any idea at all what these have in common? If you guess that they're different, then you would be correct. In 2020, a study was done to see if students who studied in different locations or students who only studied in their dorms would do better on a test. And the students who studied in different locations, of course, won. Humans just need change. Yes, quarantine sucked, but it was different. Lots of good ideas came from it, like the fact simple video games can be fun and how working and learning from home can have its upsides. To the people watching this in 20 years, just keep this in mind. You may have survived, but you definitely missed out. <laughs>